Hey guys, so in this video I'm going to show you how to personalize cold emails at scale or cold outreach messages at scale uh, using clay.com. Now a lot of people have asked about my clay workflow and my clay tables and this is basically um, what it looks like. Um, so before I show you how to create the prompts, I want to show you the ideal output. And this is something you always want to do before you go in and try to create a certain output in clay is that you want to write out how you want it to look like. So this is an ideal example of what I want my emails to look like after adding um, these enrichments. So, hey Oscar, so you helped sales studios reach their biggest month ever. If we can help you sign eight email marketing agencies similar to sales studios on a pay per client basis, would you be open to hearing more about it? Slash Oscar. That's what we want it to look like. And what we have here is we have um, a company's past client, we have a summary of the case study that they worked with, and we have the company type that that company is essentially. So those are the three personalized items we sort of need. And we're going to use three different prompts to um, well, obtain these. All right. So now let's go over to Clayer. I have a sheet here with um, well, four um, websites. And now we're just going to get started and uh, get cracking here. So the first step is now to find the find the companies, the name of uh, these companies past client. So we're going to ser search for Clayagent here, open this up. And now I'm going to show you my template here. Um, so what this will do, and you can pause the video here if you want to read this uh, prompt and copy it. But what this will do is it will find the name of one company that any of these companies has worked with. Just the name. That's it. So this is what we're going to use here. And you just need to select the company domain and then use template. And now we're going to hit save and then run for four rows in this view. Now we let this load here. Perfect. So here you can see the output. We have sales studios, synergy rehabilitation, podly and uh, send smarter. So now if we open my website here, for example, we scroll down, we can see that we have worked with sales studios. If we open sparklabshelp.com, we can see that they have worked with synergy rehabilitation. If we open cold IQ's website, we should be able that to see that they have worked with what was the name podly yeah, podly, right? And same thing applies here. I'm not going to show you all of them. It's accurate. They have worked with these companies. So now we can check off the first one here, which is past client name. That one worked. Name. And then that's yes. Perfect. <laughs> and now we're going to get back here. And now we need to find a summary of their case study. So what have they helped this client achieve, basically? So once again, open Add Richmond, search for Clayagent, open here. And now we're once again going to browse templates and case study summary, this one right here. Now again, just pause the video if you want to read this prompt and copy it. So now we need the company domain and we also need the past client response. So we're just going to insert this here and now use template. And now let's just run it for four rows. And I'll get back when this is ready. So now worth mentioning, I just ran it and it didn't work. It didn't give me the exact output that I wanted. So now I just made some adjustments to the prompt here to see if it will give me a better output here. So you helped sales to just hit their biggest month ever. So you helped synergy rehabilitation grow from that. So you helped podly land big affiliate deals. So you helped send smarter double their client list in two months. Perfect. Now, obviously, I'm going to show you the changes I made. Essentially, all I changed was the prefix here. So I changed that from saw you worked with client name and to saw you helped past client name response, blah, blah, blah. So now we have it here. Perfect. And then we can take pop this off. Summary of past uh, client uh, case study. Yes. And now comes probably the most difficult one where the AI needs to do make decisions on its own. Um, so now what we need to identify is what business 
sales due to is, synergy rehabilitation is, partly sense marker is. We need to identify their business type so we can sort of categorize them. So now we're going to add another enrichment here and once again search for clay agent. And then we're going to browse templates and we're going to take case study summary. No, that one we've already type, uh, type, uh, used. Okay, here, past client company time. And now on past client name, now we just need to insert this one right here. And here we have it. So you can, again, just pause the video if you want to copy it. And this more then I want you to identify what type of company past client this. You can use up to three words. We're going to change that from two to three words in your final output. So marketing agency, we can add, you know, email marketing agency. You can have B2B SaaS IT development. Yeah. Perfect. And now we're going to run them for four rows and see what happens. All right, so we got the output here now, and now we obviously just need to research this. So what we're gonna do is, first of all, this one I know is accurate. It is like an email marketing agency. Senior rehabilitation, it is a rehabilitation clinic, obviously. Uh, Podly, let's search up here to see. Yeah, so that one is also correct. It's a B2B SaaS, and SenseMarker is also a B2B SaaS. So it is accurate but I want it to be slightly more specific. So what I'm gonna do is I'm actually going to change this prompt here and I'm going to let the AI be completely free here to see what it, what it generates, all right? So now we're gonna save this and then run for four rows and let's see what it outputs. All right, so now we let it run here and the output is uh, terrible so we're actually going to reverse this and change it back so i'm just gonna oh now what we need to do is just remove this and then browse templates we're gonna take this one and then boom use template now we need to look here to see what we can change so i'm gonna take 30 seconds here and just uh, review this all right, so here are the changes. I changed, the, I changed the example outputs to like B2B SaaS and from marketing agencies to just agencies. And let's see um, what it gives me. Because as long as it categorizes this, um, the company in the right like company type, such as like agency SaaS or yeah, then it will work. And um, the main point here is that it can't be wrong, essentially. So SaaS is great print on demand uh, this is you can use up to three words in your final output marketing agency SAS recruitment recruitment company all right let's see now all right, not sure now it, why it gives me a different output, but this is the thing with like these inputs, these outputs where the, what should I call it, where the AI needs to think and make own decisions and it sort of, it doesn't work as well. So what we can do now is obviously we need to remove like the uh, suffix of these. So like sales company, physiotherapy clinic, print on demand. So we need to remove like company and clinic from it so that way we can have you know it will look something like this if we're going to be realistic now this is what the final output could look like so now we're just going to take you know this one right here so this is what it can look like so you helped and then boom so you helps in your rehabilitation grow from one to 16 clinics. If I can help you sign eight, and now we need physiotherapy clinic. Eight physiotherapy, and here is where the uh, change will be. So instead of clinic, we will have, instead of, uh, if we can help you sign eight physiotherapy companies or clients, 
let's do clients similar to sales studios and here we need to change it to synergy rehabilitation scenario rehabilitation on a paper client basis would you be open to hearing more about it that's realistically what this copy will look like all right so how we fix this is just we create a formula and now we're going to do add and then we're gonna take company type response we do remove Um, remove clinic where we're gonna do this replace then clinic and company and you know yeah remove clinic and company and we, you know agency perhaps could be one of them with or what was it exactly? Was it clients or clients? Clients with clients. Um, replace clinic, company, and agency with clients in. And then that one. And now we're going to see what it generates here. Or honestly, it actually works if we just have that. So then it would be like this. If we can help you sign eight physiotherapy clinic clients similar to synergy rehabilitation. Yeah, perfect. That actually works. Perfect. So now we can just go ahead and, you know, add, what do I know? Clay.com here. We can add smart, smart lead.ai. We can add instantly.ai and just test these prompts to see how they work. All right, here we go. So you help the web aware expand their business. So you help Trigify achieve, yeah. So it works extremely well, like it's consistent, but obviously this specific personalization works better for agencies, I'd say, um, since one testimonial isn't really as remarkable for a SaaS company, they have so many. But if you mention like a huge agency's, you know, case study client, they will know exactly what client you're talking about. So now this is what the final copy will look like here. And the last thing I'm going to do now is just add it to Smart Lead and show you how it looks in the preview. So now what we're going to do is just hit export, go to Smart Lead, then add lead to campaign. And now we need to select the right key here. I think it's this one. Then let's take... Yeah, this one, perfect. And now we just need to insert, fill out all of this here. So let's do full name and then optional phone number. We don't have that, the domain. All right. So now let's add some custom fields here. So the first one would be client name. Add this and now we're gonna take past client name response, client, past client, past client summary. And now we need to attribute this to something, this one, and now we're gonna do past client type. All right, perfect, and then we click save and then we're going to do this and now it's going to add it to that campaign. All right, so now we've added it here and now we're just going to take this uh, copy right here, paste it and now we're just going to replace this. So then we take that, so you helped and here we're going to have just past client summary, boom. If I can help you sign eight, and then we're gonna take past client type, clients similar to, and then we're gonna take past client on a pay per client basis. Save, save changes, save and next. And now we just need to complete this like setup here. So now we're just going to take. All right, 
So here we go. Here is what it will look like. Um, hey Michael, so you help Synergy Rehabilitation grow from 1 to 16 clinics. If I can help you sign 8 physiotherapy clinic clients similar to Synergy Rehabilitation on a per pay per client basis, would you be open to hearing more about it? Then we have Hey Oscar, and now obviously I just used the full name, but that's yeah. So you help sales, you just hit their biggest month ever. If I can help you sign eight client sales company clients similar to sales students on a paper client basis, would you be open to hearing more about it? Boom. And there we have it. So anyways, that's it for me. Thank you for watching this video. Please don't forget to hit subscribe and the like button and comment because it really makes my day. Anyways, see you soon.